Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up GPU mining on your Ubuntu machine. So let's close out of this and let's start from the beginning here. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually the easiest way to do this is just go to my GitHub. There's a link in the description of the video below, just coding in crypto. And in it, you're gonna find the repository for Ubuntu GPU mining. The readme of this repository has everything step by step. It's got information about the components you're going to need. You don't have to get these specific models, but you're going to at least need some variation of this list, whether you go with one GPU or multiple. And you can use PC Part Picker, which I recommend very, very strongly to help you build your rig because it'll help you make sure everything's compatible. So definitely check this site out. Super cool. I got the link in here. And I also got some instructions on how to install Ubuntu if you haven't done that yet either. You just go download it from Ubuntu's main page. I went with 20.04 and you use Rufus to make it a bootable USB and it looks like this. And then when you load up the bootable USB on your Ubuntu machine, well at the time your bare metal machine, it will actually allow you to install it. So any issues with that, let me know. I'd be happy to help you guys out but there are step-by-step -step instructions in here. But I'm gonna assume you already have Ubuntu, whether it's your first time install just finished or you've had this thing for a while, either way, um, let's get started with setting up the GPU mining. So for me, I'm obviously using AMD Radeon 6600 XT. So for the most part, this tutorial is valid for pretty much any AMD GPU because I covered the ways to look up your specific model and stuff like that. But as far as NVIDIA goes, I really didn't get a chance to do that yet. I don't have a NVIDIA card, just AMD. So um, maybe one day, but for now, this will be pretty focused on AMD. Now, anyway, we're gonna just walk through this thing step by step because like I said, every instruction is here that we're gonna run in this video. And I'll briefly talk about what's happening. So. Here we're just updating the repositories and I'm going to automatically do both of these commands, which is just, so update is going to obviously update the repositories like I just said, but dist upgrade is going to upgrade anything that is ready for an upgrade, any packages that can be upgraded. And it also makes sure that all of like the version numbers of the dependencies are going to line up. So that's pretty helpful. This might take a second on your computer. I've already done this, so like I went and updated everything ahead of time. Otherwise, this could take like 10, 15 minutes. And so the last thing now of this step is we're going to install wget because we're going to need that to pull down some of the AMD packages. So as you can see, I've already got it. Once you've got wget installed, we're going to have to go to AMD's site and figure out what driver software we need. So this is what that looks like. The link is here. And I'll blow this up so it's a little bigger. But when you scroll down, you'll be able to take a look at basically what you're looking for, what kind of model you're looking for. We're in graphics. And then you can look up your graphics card based on the series and the model number and all that jazz. So when you eventually get down to your model, you hit submit and you make sure that you pick the one that's for Ubuntu. And then make sure that you're using the proper version of Ubuntu as well. I'm on 20.04, so this is the one I'm gonna go with here. Um, I'm either going with this one in the tutorial or there's maybe like a tad earlier version than this. Um, let's see, but it's gonna be very, very similar. Yeah, so it's just 21.3 instead of 0.5. Either way, I've been using 21.3, no problem. So this is the command to get that package, that tar GZ, down from AMD's site with wget. And that takes a second, so I'm just gonna fast forward real quick. So now that that's been installed, we're gonna have to unpack it using tar xjf, and just the name of that tar xz file. And then once that's been unpacked, now here's where we're actually gonna install the driver software. And this part is a little bit tricky. As you can see in the description, I had this little two major keys call out here. Basically what we get 
from AMD is a driver called AMD GPU Pro, but that's a package. And inside of that package is actually two versions of the driver software. There's AMD GPU and there's AMD GPU Pro. So this kind of tripped me up when I got started with this. So I provided the link to AMD site that I found through some research. And basically this tells you whether or not your GPU is supported for the AMD GPU Pro driver. So if you don't see yours on this list, like mine is not, then you can't use the AMD GPU Pro driver. But don't worry, that doesn't stop you from mining. I don't even think it affects your hash rate. I'm not really totally sure on that, but I didn't see any issue with my hash rate. I got the rate I was expecting. But point is, if you're on this list, I would use the Pro driver. And if you're not, then you got to use the normal one. So here where we're doing AMD GPU install, you actually can just swap AMD GPU for AMD GPU Pro in each of these you know, commands here, these three. So pretty important. Um, we're gonna CD into that file or that folder that we just created by unpacking that bad boy. And we're gonna use chmod to make sure that this thing can be executable. And then as you can see, we're doing the AMD GPU install because I don't have support for the pro driver through my GPU. And then this flag here, this option OpenCL is super important. We want to have ROCR and we want the legacy version so that this driver will support OpenCL because OpenCL is actually an integral part of what gets used to run the hashing algorithms on the GPU itself. So you got to have that flag there. And we're going to run that. And that can take a few minutes. And as you can see, I've already got it installed. So mine was pretty quick. It's kind of yelling at me, but yours is probably going to take a few minutes. So let's exit that directory now. And what we want to do is configure the driver software now. So all we have to do is run these two user mod commands. And then we need to set up, as you can see next, OpenCL. So let's go ahead and use apt-get to get OpenCL. And I've already got it installed, so that was nice and quick. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to just upgrade our driver software to make sure that we've got the latest version available through the distribution packaging that we've just added earlier. So, all right, we're good. We have the most recent version. We've got the supporting libraries. We got everything we need. So our GPU is good to go. Our GPU driver is good to go. We've got OpenCL. And now what we need to do is install a mining software. Now, me personally, I've been enjoying LOL Miner. I've used a couple of them here and there, and I'm still like fooling around with different ones, but this one's my favorite so far. It's pretty simple to get started. And using this wget command, you can download the source and it comes in a tar GZ. So we're going to download the source for version 1.42. And so now that we've got that downloaded, we just want to unpack that tarball, just like we did earlier. And once that's been unpacked, we're going to CD into what's going to be called 1.42 is the file. And I'll show you what that looks like too. If we go to 1.42, you can see this is what comes with LOL Miner. So LOL Miner itself right here, this is the application, this is the mining software. And then each of these bash scripts actually drive the mining software with different arguments. So if you look at, for example, the mine ETH one, this is obviously gonna be Ethereum. And in here is an example of a pool that you can enter. Now this is actually the Ethereum two miners pool. So you, you can leave this alone and it'll totally work, but this is obviously not going to be your wallet. And this is what you want to name your miner. So I would just replace this with my wallet here and then replace this with my miner name, which Carnelius, Cornelius, and then you're good to go. And so when this is done and you save it and you close it out and you've added your wallet there, what you're going to want to do is just open this in a terminal 
See, we're inside 1.42, which we are down here, but whatever. And all you want to do is just say dot slash mine ETH dot SH. And bingo, this thing's going to start cooking. Now, while this is booting up, I just want to quickly mention that sometimes you do need to do a reboot after installing all of that driver software and stuff for the first time. So if you have any issues, try that first. But if you start seeing this stuff booting up and you see the recognition of your driver and OpenCL being picked up, <clears throat> you are good to go. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope this helped you guys out. I hope some of you guys are getting into mining and this was able to get you started. If you get stuck at all or if you have any questions, please leave a comment. But um, thanks for coming by.